So I've been making more use of uh, branch sticks and I can't really ignore that. So I've got about three of them. That's my biggest one. Three of them for exercise. Various different exercises. I'm finding that the different sizes are, are needed. So I'm at three. The one on the right, I like. Uh, I have no intention to replace that one, but I think I'd like to double up to have two of this middle one, and then uh, I want another one of these with uh, the longer tops. Same short base, about 11, 12 inches, but longer tops. This is quite the curvy track. So around this park, it's kind of popular for uh, construction crews to dump the uh, building material. This is like flooring with a rubber backing and then carpet in there. I found lumber and siding. Every so often I just kind of follow along this trail and find a dump site. All right, so this tree was put out of the way for the trail, so it's been cut a while ago. I cut this, and it is a very tough tree to cut with this loose bark, but it's thick enough. Weird branches. And I just can't, I thought maybe oak, but no way. And this is a leaf. So it's been it had a lot of time to dry. It's kind of strong too. It bends pretty good. It's actually really flexible and strong. I could almost go for replacing a pine with that. One of my seven plus foot pines. I'm trying to decide, but I need to find my tape measure so I see if it matches. Or actually, I could just compare. Uh, excuse me? This thing is checking me out like I'm a mouse. <laughs> and he was behind me like an hour ago. Jeez. Talk about a confident hawk. Checking me out. Maybe they rarely see people around here. Reminds me of that one hawk that uh, swooped down on me when I was picking grass. I'm going to stick the camera outside of the window. See what happens. Okay. There it went. Alright, so over the course of yesterday, I ate about four undercooked eggs. They were soft white. The white part was liquidy. The yellow was soft. And last night my gut started acting weird like I had to fart, but then I did, but it was upset, like reminding me that it could get inflamed and painful. I always get scared because of my past experiences with uh, gut inflammation. So it's been kind of upset today and, and uh, not too bad, very mild. But I think that because I'm feeling a little off, it's probably some salmonella poisoning. A mild case that's uh, attacked my gut last night and just just been making me feel slightly off. So the only thing I, the only explainable reason I can think of is those undercooked eggs. I just didn't hold them over a fire long enough. All right, this is my wishbone. It's like my wishbone neck exerciser. I just uh, push it against my, my shoulders and then push my head back. 
helps strengthen my neck. All right, Wausau, Wisconsin, Wausau, Wisconsin. All right, in. Um, after doing that, that neck exercise thing, I've got uh, uh, pro heart problems now because I was pushing here and here. I might have been pushing on some arteries and causing clots. I think I got clots to my lungs. It's making it slightly difficult to breathe and my heart was acting funny. I think I got less oxygen going to my heart right now. Um, so I'm slamming some cayenne pepper. I gotta get the, I think, I think they're lung clots. I think I, I think I did something there. All right, I'm in Wausau and just, I'm uh, walking from pick and save to the, the library. <clears throat> oh, geez. And it's not a direct route, not an easy direct route. It says 1.3 miles and yeah, I just I gotta cross a river, I gotta go around private property. And I decided not to take the bicycle 1.3 miles because it's Wausau and there's so much going on. I'd really rather just take it in on foot. This is unpleasant. But the reason, big reason why I'm walking to the library a mile, I'm walking over a mile to the library is because of this. Somebody got a ticket. I'll read it in a little bit here. The parking on the Google Maps around the library does not look good. I mean, the parking looks awful. So I don't want to deal with it. What do we got? Uh, expiration, state, I don't know who this person is. Grand Cherokee got cited. Warning citation only, no payment required? What? <laughs> They're giving out these types of warning citations. Private property. It's a forfeiture of what? It's a warning citation. So that's why this person threw it to the side of the road with their, uh, their fast food. Payment for a warning? They got all this. You think you, you know, this is how the payment pay ticket's going to look. This is kind of cool looking. No clearance. Warning citation, no payment required. Interesting. <clears throat> what a weird setup. <clears throat> Train splits to cross the river in two different spots two different bridge three bridges and all i guess <clears throat> these have w some warning signs about passing beyond that line weird looking dock doesn't look safe to walk on Library should be on the right. I want to look at uh, the parking situation. I didn't like what I saw from Google Maps. I didn't quite understand it. It'd be nice to drop down below, go straight over. They discouraged dropping down. Look at this. They put a big wall instead of a, sl a slope. Instead of a slope, they put a big old wall so you wouldn't pass. <laughs> so they got a five-story, six-story parking garage here, public parking metered. 
it says somebody's really looking at me and then you walk across this this bridge possibly to enter into the library library's right here enter here to use skywalk library parking only three hours additional in parking line okay that's what i was looking for three hours is kind of reasonable so i could par pull into here and and then park for three hours and instead now that i'm already here i'll just see if there's alternatives around the area i figured it, it looked like tough parking So this library parking lot's got some kind of a pay to park, two free hours per day.
Hmm. So they're saying that they're making electricity with this thing. <laughs> what language is this? They appear to have some kind of ninja course underneath the bridge. Probably sign that explains it. Ninja steps. So people take this course to practice to be a ninja. And there's a button you press before you start. Oh, there's a timer. <laughs> I've never seen an outdoor ninja course for the public before. Oh, the timer went to blanks. Yeah, nobody's really using it right now. Kids got some crazy place to play too. I gotta get on this bridge. And the only access is the no trespassing area. <laughs> They put up a sign saying, no trespassing, but it's the only way to get across. <laughs> so I got a trespass to get across. <clears throat> kind of a dumb setup. Because I parked that pick and save. <laughs> yeah, that's quite the, the park. They got a lot going on. Nobody there now, though. Are there really many people that do show up? It doesn't look easy to access. But there's lots of parking. And bathrooms are open, too. I'm pretty sure that's the 3M plant throwing out all that smoke. Man, they pollute a lot. So I see this pile of coal, and uh, it's never finished. It looks like I could just take it and use it for myself. They they attempted to, to, to burn it, but it just didn't finish. They got a lot of unfinished pieces here that have gotten rained on last two nights ago. But, what, it can dry out, right? This boat ramp uh, south of Wausau must be sitting on a gold mine. Six dollars, gold mine of fish. I think this is the Bluegill Park. So at this boat ramp, they tell people no motor testing. I have never seen that warning before. Bluegill Bay Park. Park closed 11 to six. All right, so I nearly filled up my eight pound bag with the coal. Some of it seems wet, so this is an experiment for me. 
using free coal that has gotten wet to see how effective it can be still beat up a little bit rained on see I don't see much of a difference between discarded their discarded charcoal and mine just a little white I mean there's a little it's a little wet I'll have to need use more kindling I suppose for this used charcoal um, but uh, yeah I, I expect it to to work just fine For diverticulitis, I read a report now that um, people in Africa and Asia tend not to get it. They tend not to get diverticulitis compared to the people in America. And I would ask, uh, take a look, for you to take a look at big raisins. Look at the raisins. Are they sold much in Africa and Asia like they are in America? There could be several, a store can have several shelves of raisins. Raisins are very prevalent and they cause a lot of gas for me, at least in my experience. I suspect the raisins. I just want to say that after playing with uh, different kinds of walking sticks, I'm starting to like the ones with the handles. A little fork on the end is kind of nice. It's nice for... I like to grip this while I'm walking. So last night, sleeping in the Walmart parking lot, I had a few scares. It's so strange. I just, I don't know, I'd hear a weird noise or have a weird light pass by and just wake up with a panic thinking that maybe the cops are checking me out. <laughs> when people park right next to me at 12 or 1 a.m., I think it was raining at that time, but uh, I'd look out and, and the vehicle would kind of look like a cop car, so I'd start panicking and thinking <clears throat> that I'm going to get uh, interrogated. And I think it's something else scared me too, it's just, I know I woke up several times just in a panic. <laughs> Okay, now I remember why I was getting startled <clears throat> at night, last night. It's because uh, the doors were locking. And now that I'm, I'm trying to unlock, I think that it's shorted because the rain. My, I have bad grounding and now the electronics is out. I can still lock this door at least. But I know to unlock the other doors. I gotta be able to reach them. All right, so I'm pulling these uh, six foot tapered poles in favor of the, the fork, replacing them. I got one in the in the the woods. This one is going, I'm making a transition from just straight to uh, forked on the end. Past couple of days in this area, I've been feeling a little sick in my stomach, and I haven't really been eating anything different. It's hard to believe that it's the handling of the wood. I think the environment might be doing something to my stomach. <laughs> but uh, it's a mild sickness. I don't like it, but I mean, I can kind of deal with it. So the cops were called to the park uh, because of uh, those kids. And I hope they don't just come to bother me. Look at that. They got, they got their side lights on. These kids were just revving their cars so loud. I think he's just listening.
came right after all the kids left. All right, he knows what they're looking for. Stopped. I didn't think to record the kids, but as they had this whole parking lot on this end lined up with trucks, it's those young truck kids. After all of them left, then the cops show up. They might have, uh, the kids might have gone to the Walmart. That's where they were last night. <laughs> All right, I don't see any of the truck kids at the Walmart parking lot, so they, they scattered and went somewhere else before that sheriff deputy showed up. And then here as I'm driving out, the sheriff deputy was still sitting outside the park, and I passed him as he's parked. And then he started moving, but he turned, he went back the other way because somebody else was entering the park. He never bothered me. So, uh, I don't know, that's, that's the end of that incident. So I've been feeling a little queasy in my stomach. I just, I wonder if it's the weather? Is it the air, what I'm smelling? Is there some kind of scent in the air that's causing a queasy feeling? I just, I just, uh, Trying to to feel what it's what's causing it. I I kind of think it's a cooler weather and something in the air, but that's that's all I'm thinking about. All right, I see a little water on this uh, lock. There's a little water on that. So water's gotten in and is affecting this. It's it. This is not. This one is not wet. Okay, I only have two of these, so just to narrow the possibilities down, I would say it's this. I want to dis I want to dislocate this, and that should probably stop the automatic locking that's hap or unlocking. I think my doors are unlocking because it's tripping out because it's getting wet. All right, even though I've detached it, it's, it is wet in there, but it, the locks are still are going through the locking or unlocking position. The water might be affecting the internal part of this. I'll keep it, I'll keep it out. Yeah, water is just splashing out. I'm not getting electrocuted. Water is splashing out. This collect this got like this holds water like a cup. Let's see if it dries out. If drying out helps. I, I covered I put it inside and covered it because the mosquitoes I think were getting in through the top here when my window was open. So I covered all the holes in this door. But it still gets wet inside the panel. Yeah, we're just grabbing what we have. Hey, do, you, uh, do you have any laptops with uh, a GPU with two uh, gigabyte VRAM? Is that familiar to you? GPU with two giga, you know, with VRAM? Yeah. Okay. A game for a it, hobby. Okay. So, yeah, are there laptops that have uh, this GPU with two gigabyte to VRAM? Not off the top of my head. I would have okay. to do a little bit more digging. Oh, but yeah, it's it's not a common thing, and so not for two gigabytes okay. of VRAM. That's not really okay. It usually right. has four. integrated or built in or correct. Nothing right. that you would be able to not solder. So you'd have to. Um, They're all soldered in, so nothing adding or uh, taking away. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, so that's, okay, that's 
Yeah. So yeah. What, what I have. You have to look at the high end ones, but uh, yeah. you're not you're not even sure they would have it. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Yep. <laughs>